Previously on The Lair. How could he survive? Bulletproof vest. Look, it's all still pretty hazy. Tom, I love you, but I have to survive. I have to feed. Loving you is killing me. The hell is this? What are you saying, Tom? We're through. What you need is an equalizer, something that keeps him from exerting any of his power that he has over you. There's this new book that just came out about the island. There's this whole chapter about this ancient ring that's buried somewhere here on the island that protects against all forms of magic. You remind me of someone I knew a long time ago. He told me he was desperate once, too. I represent Frau von Hess. She has a business proposition for you. I gotta warn you, a lot of strange stuff goes down around here. Luckily, I'm a fan of the strange and unusual. My sisters were guardians of the underworld. A single look from them would turn their victim's body into solid stone. If this is a statue, then why does the broken surface reveal all the details of the blood vessels, muscles, tendons? How can an artist create a work like that? He can't. Sorry. Oh. You just, uh, startled me, that's all. It's my fault. I don't see so well in the dark. My glasses. It's pretty dark in here already, but... Hey, no harm. I'm Tom. Ethan. Ethan. That's an unusual name. Like, with an A? Yes. It's very old. So, you into, uh, island history or... The occult? Both. They're uh, hobbies of mine. Me too, actually. I find it very interesting, all the freaky things that have happened on the island the past couple hundred years or so. Are you looking for anything in particular? No. Are you? No. Well, I won't keep you then. Goodbye, Tom. Hey, you need a hand with that? No, I got it. Can I help you? Um, yeah, I'll take one of these. Ah, great book. It's been flying off the shelves today. So, how many copies would you like to buy? They make great stocking stuffers, or we can do wholesale if you own a shop. Yeah, just the one. Have you read this? It's the companion piece. It helps everything else make sense. Actually, we wrote a review about that in the paper. Oh, so you work for the Island Gleaner? Yeah. Um, Tom Etherton. Hey, nice to meet you. Hey, is the owner of the shop around? I hear he wrote the book. Yeah, he did. You're looking at him. You're the author. Harris Philip Chichester. You don't look like an author. Really? What's an author supposed to look like? <laughs> we sure did a lot of research for this. 
He must be a pretty talented guy. That's just what your paper said. And still it only sold 500 copies. Well, it's a small paper. But hey, I'm excited to read this one. Yeah, I'm glad you're buying a copy instead of just reading the one I sent to the paper. Yeah, somebody swiped it. <laughs> so it must be pretty good. I'll autograph it if you like. Sure. Hey, do you mind including like a card or something in case I have any questions? I'll give you a call. Number is on the bookmark. And I live in the back of the shop, so give me a call after you've had a read. That'll be 20 bucks for the book. Thanks. I just might do that. Nice meeting you, Harris. Sheriff, come in. Please. They said you have an update for me. Yes, I did. Have you managed to locate that missing bar patron? Well, we searched his house, but we didn't come up with anything. And no one has seen him since he walked out of the Harbor Light that night. Well, what little bit of forensic work we were able to do on that stone figure did turn up one more mystery. What's this? That statue has fingerprints. Fingerprints? You have access to the missing person's house. You just said that. Why not pull some prints and compare them? To the statue? That's crazy. What have you got to lose? What are you so scared of? Absolutely nothing. Except wasting my time. I hope I'm not out of line here, Sheriff, but you've been different ever since that shooting incident. You, you seem apprehensive. Well, letting some punk get the drop on you during a shootout and losing your eyesight for a while might rattle anyone. Is, is that all it is? Okay, I haven't been sleeping well lately either. But I've got a lot on my mind, and now this. Look, I'm going to write you a prescription that's going to help you get a good night's rest. But I don't need to do No buts. Just give it a try. All right, but I'm doing this to make you feel better, not me. She was quiet. I didn't think you were here. I've been reading. I didn't mean to uh, disturb you. I like the quiet. It suits me. But I realize it can be unsettling to others. <laughs> I don't have that problem. I usually knock something over wherever I go. I like you. You're very real. I mean that in a good way. Thanks. I think. So, um, tell me something. What really brought you here to the island? Like I said, most people ignore the strange and unusual. I'm drawn to it. All right, well, just be careful. I've already lost one friend to this Bermuda Triangle. You don't have to worry about me, I promise. Does what you're doing here have anything to do with uh, that book there? Possibly. Um, would you mind if I pick some lunch? Of course not, but nothing for me, I'm, I'm not hungry. The tattoo on your left arm is very interesting. It's very detailed. Do you mind? No. It's not gonna rub off. Does it have any special meaning? Are they symbols of some kind? Uh, some of them are. Don't know exactly what, though. Do you have any others, like? Um, just this one here.
There's more to you than meets the eye, Tim. We can talk about this again another time. stuff, huh? It'd make a hell of a horror film. So would my life. Uh, quit your belly aching. This is where it gets fun. Fun? So you think all this is real? Look, Tom, there's some truth to every old legend. No offense, but you're sleeping with one. Was sleeping with one, definitely past tense. <laughs> Look, I won't argue that there's some things no one understands, but some of the stuff in this book is really hard to swallow. Like the Ring of Erebus? Could guess. But what if it were true, huh? Finding it would be of tremendous value to you. I mean, think about it. Total freedom from any outside influences. Just wear the ring and no magic can touch me just like that. Just like that. Damien couldn't control you. Nobody could control you. So all I have to do is find the ring. Exactly. Just one tiny ring buried on this big old island. How do you suggest I do that? The book says the ring belonged to a very powerful sorcerer who headed up a witch cult on the island 200 years ago. Well, why don't we just ask him? But it didn't keep him from getting his head chopped off. So the ring didn't do him much good. Well, there's no magic in a headsman's axe, so the ring couldn't help him. The ring was meant to protect him from his followers, some of whom plotted to overthrow him. Sound familiar? I mean, it says here that the ring is buried somewhere on the island, but it doesn't say where. I mean... What good does that do me? Look, Tom, all of this was only recently discovered when they found a trunk full of documents and artifacts when they were digging the foundation for the new cruise ship dock. Who might have the best shot of knowing where or how to discover its location? Think hard. Harris, he must have had access to the documents in order to write the book. Exactamundo. Or at the very least, he'd have a clue. But if he knew where it was, why wouldn't he just find it himself? You'd have to believe it first. You're skeptical, and this is coming from a man who's had sex with a vampire and at this very moment is talking to a ghost. <laughs> Good point. What have you got to lose? Scene with crime. Harris? Speaking. Hey, it's Tom Etherton. Hey, Tom. That was fast. Your book, I just, I couldn't put it down. Wow, first time I've heard that. I'm glad you liked it. Hey, I was, I was wondering if we could meet somewhere. I've got some questions on a few of the chapters and I really think there's just more to it than what's in your book. Yeah, sure. You know, this must sound strange. <laughs> no, not, not at all. When do you want to do this? The sooner the better. Uh, tonight? I gotta stay close to the shop. But you could come by here if you want. Perfect. After eight? Okay. Knock hard on the door. I'll be closed by then. Will do. Thanks. See ya. See? How hard was that? I still think this is a little far-fetched, but I'm gonna trust you on this one. He's cute, huh? Yeah, so? Don't look at me like that. I just want you to be happy. Believe me, I have no other motive. That's what worries me most. Hello? Mr. Courtenay, it's Tad from Frau von Hesse's office. Good evening, Tad. What can I do for you? I just wanted to let you know that Frau von Hess will be on the island in two days' time and can meet with you then, if that's acceptable. That would be fine. Just call me when she arrives and we'll set something up. Excellent. I'm sure you both will have a lot in common. Would you like a drink? Cabernet. I don't think I've seen you before. I'm new to the island. 
Charlie recommended this place to me. Ah, Charlie. How is Charlie? Hard as a rock the last time I saw him. That sounds like him. <laughs> well, enjoy yourself. Don't get in too much trouble. I'll try not to. I'm Damien. Ethan. like this place? Yeah, it was beginning to grow on me. There's a lot of new blood, fresh faces. Don't you think? It's not like the lair. The lair's become a graveyard. I'm like so over that place. <laughs> so we find a new place? Well, I've been thinking about that. I think maybe it's time to do things my way instead of trying to fit into someone else's plan. I'm ready when you are. Patience has never been one of my virtues. But if I'm gonna be around for the long haul, there's gonna have to be some changes made. Hey, bitch, you're in my seat. Sorry, how do you know? Sorry, friend. It's his seat now. Why don't you find somewhere else? You got just backwards. <laughs> I think maybe you need some fresh air. What are you doing? Hey, I don't want any trouble. That guy started it. That guy's always been a jerk. I've lost a lot of business because of him. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. Say, I could use a guy like you around here. Someone who could, uh... Restore a little order when necessary. What do you have in mind? Kind of, you know, a bouncer. <laughs> I'm not really the peacekeeping type. I'm more of a manager. But we already have a manager. Me. I own the place. But I'll make it worth your while. Yeah, maybe. But I only work at night. Fine. I'm Matt. Colin. This is Gary and Richie. I think maybe we can help you out.
Well, what do you know? Looks like we have some competition. Warning, alcohol may intensify the effects of medication. <sighs> what the hell? Getting real irritating real fast. <sighs> Damn it. What the hell is going on here? Hello. Hey, Sheriff. Catch you at a bad time? There is no good time. What's up? Just want to let you know we got the report back from the lab regarding those fingerprints you asked us to run. The ones from the statue? That's right. Okay, so what's the word? They're a match with our missing person. You're sure about that? Sure as we can be. We got a few good sets of prints over at Stoneboy's house. And if those prints aren't his, then they belong to someone else who spent a lot of time there. So you're not 100% certain they're his? We can't be sure until we get the thumbprint back from the DMV. You know how slow that goes. Stay with it. I might have another set of prints for you to analyze. Next time on The Lair, Vane lost a power struggle when his own coven members cut his head off. So the ring and the head are together. It's got to be a legitimate business with a new face on it. Mine. I did see some markings on a map I couldn't identify. Who's there? What the hell do you want? Oh! No! Oh! Oh! Tim? Get out, Tim! Get out now! <laughs>